Hello folks, coming up next is something interesting. People who like the hot weather, why? I live in Florida now, after growing up in the Midwest. It isn't so much that I love hot weather, it's that I hate cold, snow, and ice with a passion. Since we've moved here, I haven't had to shovel snow, slip on the ice, walk outside in minus 20 wind chill, or scrape my car windows when it's freezing outside. No more 18 car pileups on icy, snowy interstates. If it gets too hot, I jump into my pool or crank up the AC. I will never, ever move back to a cold climate. Spent 25 years in South Dakota. This is spot on. As a level of bonus crap SD will swing between minus 40 wind chills during the winter to summer months regularly over 100 F 40 C and the wind never stops. It's always blowing like 15 miles per hour 25 kmh. There are like 10 days a year where it wasn't miserable. Because I'm from Canada and the winter is brutal here in my province, goes till like 40 C, and lasts for almost half the year. So yeah give me some hot weather. Mosquito weather. No poop. I freaking hate mosquitoes, bees, and any type of fly. I'll take my cold weather over dealing with bugs any day. I literally just walked through the woods and walked into three different spider webs and the horse flies would not leave me the frick alone. I just wish there was a place where it was Midwest early fall weather a majority of the year sweater weather, but unfortunately that climate does not exist to my knowledge. My favorite is when you can grab a blanket, a hot chocolate, and a good book and sit out on the porch listening to the leaves fall. If anyone knows if such a magical place exists like this a majority of the year I'm booking a ticket tomorrow. Also Halloween is the bee's knees in the Midwest, so many creepy forests and pumpkins galore. I find summer clothing more comfortable. I wish I could wear shorts and sandals all year. Also sundresses. Cute and wildly convenient. And you don't even need shoes some places. So much less effort can go into clothes. I wear mini skirts in the summer but most people scream at me because my balls keep falling out. Why not? Cold is awful. You're inside and warm, you need to go outside so you have to put on a bunch of stuff, but then a lot of time you're just outside for the time it takes to get inside a different place and then it's warm in there, so you have to take everything you put on to deal with the cold off. Cold makes your fingers not want to work right, guitar player. Cold plus wind is also the worst. I'd take hot over cold any time. Real answer, I'm used to hot, I'm not used to cold. As someone who had to push my mother's car out of minus 10 degree Fahrenheit with minus 32 wind chills in Chicago, I can confirm. The lenses and frames of my glasses was freezing by the time we were done. I will take the peak of Texas heat for the rest of my life if it meant never having to experience that ridiculous cold weather ever again. Extremes in either direction are no fun. But assuming we're talking bearable heat versus bearable cold, I'll take the heat. If only because walking into an air-conditioned room on a hot day beats walking into a heated room on a cold day. Also cold is physically painful. Yeah the heat is uncomfortable as hell, but at least my body doesn't hurt. Yeah, basically walking into a heated room is ah, duck for kef. I would rather be hot. I like sunshine and a more tropical climate. Cold regions with crafty weather depress me. I grew up in Michigan and now live in Texas. Both places have their merits and Michigan has some gorgeous scenery during the spring and fall, but I'm not down to weather 5 months of snow followed by a month and a half of soggy, muddy, mosquito why thaw. Give me 105 degrees and a poolside any day. This is exactly how I feel. Growing up in Michigan with that cold just ruins life. I also moved to South Dakota for a few years and was even more miserable with 40 miles per hour winds every day and 8 months of winter. Whenever I start to think it's getting to hot out, I remember those places and it's not bad at all. What's not to like about it? People who complain about this live in Florida or Arizona and don't seem to realize comfortable heat exists too. I've been through both extremes, from the Central American jungles to Death Valley. The trick is to get yourself some shade and some cold, cold, cold drinks. After that it's not that bad. If you get yourself a nice breeze it's actually pleasant. I'd rather sweat than shiver. I hate wearing layers and the cold physically hurts. I have a lot more aches and pains in the cold weather than I do in summer. I love feeling the warm sun on my face. I like to swim and float on a lounger in the pool. I like having friends over for cookouts and outdoor games like badminton and horseshoes. I love to hike. I just feel better, healthier, in the heat. Anybody else get serious headaches all winter from being tense? 
I get it in my arms and shoulders. The cold makes me hold my arms tight to my body, and I always end up hurting from it. It'd rather wear less clothes than more clothes. Grew up in Nebraska, been in NorCal for 20 years. That crap where you live in an uninhabitable wasteland and have to run from the car into the store to avoid frostbite for a month or so is dildos. I came up used to minus 25 wind chill and now I need a sweater when it hits 60 at Disneyland. Life is better now. Okay, go ahead and shovel snow. Shoveling is sometimes fun, I get to see snow after dying in flaming agony for the past 6 months and it reminds me that the best time of the year is here. It was really hot and you sweat, so you took a shower. It was pleasant and you felt better. It was really cold so you overlayered and sweat, so you took a shower. It was not pleasant because you ran out of hot water, and the house was too cold when you got out. Sitting in the shade with a cold bear, why wouldn't I like that? My bear gets cold too sometimes, I give him lots of cuddles. Because I remember how much I ducking hate being cold, so I'll keep my complaints about hot summers to a minimum. And really it's not unpleasant even at 105 F so long as I can dress appropriately and don't need to be in direct sun or doing manual labor. I dig being all warm and sweaty. I prefer the hot weather because I think my internal thermostat is more suited to it. Also it is so nice in the summer when going outside to just throw on some sandals or sneakers and just go outside. Need to go somewhere in the summer, just put on shoes, get in car, open windows, or turn on AC and go wherever I need. Need to go somewhere in the winter. Put on jacket, put on scarf, put on hat, put on gloves, put on boots. Then go to car where I have to scrape ice off of windows, and then wait for the car to warm up to finish defrosting what I couldn't scrape off. And worse, if it is snowing out, now you have to shovel your driveway, and then clean car off, and then drive slow and carefully taking twice as long to get anywhere. And if there is more than 6 inches of snow, I now can't go anywhere until they plow the road. Also to all those saying, if it is cold just put more clothes on. There is a limit to how much clothing you can put on. When you have 7 layers on and are still cold, it is miserable. I just took the garbage out. You know how I did it? I grabbed the bag, walked out barefoot to the garbage can and dumped it in. If this were winter, I'd have to get bundled up and put on boots for this simple chore. And then I'd come in and my boots would drip filthy puddles of melt water on my floor, and my skin would be cold for hours. In fact, my skin is always cold when it's cold outside. Winter blows and I hate it. It's not so much that I like hot weather as it is that I absolutely detest the cold. I hate snow, I hate when it gets dark early, I hate feeling my nose hairs freeze when I take a breath, I hate not being able to go camping or hiking or outdoor rock climbing. I also hate summer though, so I guess I just can't be appeased. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.